Uh, Knicks, Nets. Um, Eddie, is the streak over? Mm. Yes, it is. Beat the Nets, 124-106. Jalen dropping 40. Josh Hart with 27. Now, we're going to talk about it. The fact that Jalen Brunson was snubbed for All-Star Weekend. Chandler, does it look even worse this morning? I mean, yeah, this is a real, legit player and this guy is a huge reason why the Knicks are in the position that they are in and you look at a game like last night guy's so efficient he's 15 to 21 from the field six of nine from three he's so solid he makes the right decision uh you know he can post up little guy he is the he is the absolute perfect point guard in, in today's game I think because he can do a little bit of everything he defends he's big he can post up he can make threes I, I absolutely love Jalen Brunson and I do think he should be an all-star and it's tough to say, like, you know, this guy, you know, Drew Holiday, he's the second best player on, on the Bucks who have a way better team. Or DeMar DeRozan's, you know, record is worse, and but his numbers are a little better. I don't know who I would replace, but this guy's an all-star. Uh-huh. And you look at the body of work that they've that he's done, the excitement he's brought to MSG. Uh, this kid's having a career year, and I, and I think he's going to have more. I don't think this is a one-hit wonder. I think this is who he is, and he's getting a chance to shine without being Luka Doncic's second fiddle, uh, and he's taking full advantage of it. Look, that, the thing about having this kind of conversation, right, is it's easy to say he was snubbed, but then in order to talk about it, you got to take someone off, Eddie. So, that being said, if you agree that Brunson should be an all-star, who's he, whose place is he taking? I mean, I think the easy answer is his teammate. They picked the wrong Nick. Uh, I think another answer <laughs> could go. be Tyrese Halliburton with all the games he's missed. Uh, you know, Ooh. I think Hallie, Hallie's had a great season, but I just think Jalen Brunson has been better. Their team has been better. He's He's been on the floor all year. He was incredible last night. And, you know, you look at the Nets and the way they're put together now, they have like all the three and D wings in the Eastern Conference, but they have nothing for him for a shifty guard like that who can get to the paint at will against anybody. And he made them play small over and over and over. He made, like they, he, he put that team in the blender all night long, and they got nothing from R.J. Barrett. They, they got nothing from a bunch of their guys, but Jalen Brunson was able to carry them and break the win streak. Sorry, Knicks fans. I've been getting smoked I by know. Knicks fans for like two weeks. But look, hey, I have no dog in the race no more. You guys go for it. You, you, you <laughs> beat them for New York supremacy. Enjoy it. I don't know what to tell you about that. Also, shout out to Josh Hart. Sneaky, sneaky deadline pickup. He had 27 points last night. He's out 20, 10 or 14. He looked like an all-star last night. He's, I watched like two Josh Hart games a month and go, is he like one of the best shooting guards in the league? And then the rest of the time, he's just Josh Hart role guy, and that's fine. But he was incredible last night. He's going to be huge for them as they get into the playoffs and as a, on a team and a coach who is desperately dying for one more wing on his team. He, mm-hmm. He's refusing to play like four guys. He wants a wing really bad. He has one now. And, and I think it's only a matter of time before he's starting. The way R.J. Barrett and is best- being pushed in and out the lineup, getting bent, oh. getting sent to the locker room, it's only yeah. a matter of time before I think Josh Hart starts. And Eddie, they, so they got Josh Hart for, for Cam Reddish, who wasn't playing in the first place. So, I mean, when you see a trade like this, this is huge for them because now you get a more Thibodeau guy, a tough, hard-nosed defending wing like Josh Hart when they weren't getting anything out of Cam Reddish anyways. And, and Thibodeau was not going to play him. And there was clearly something there. So, to me, yeah, this, this, this trade here flew under the radar because Josh Hart's going to be a huge piece going forward for this team. Josh Hart must love changing teams. He averaged 20 points a game last year when he got traded to Portland. So, he, like, this guy, I guess he's going to do what he does every time when he changes teams <laughs> in New York. It. But I think this is, like what you guys said, this is like the perfect Tom Thibodeau player in Josh Hart. And I think this team now, they finally molded it to fit uh, Tom Thibodeau. I think last year you go and trade a first-round pick for Cam Reddish. That's not a guy that Tom Thibodeau seemed to want. That's not someone that that he was in favor of going to acquire. You get rid of Cam Reddish, you bring in Josh Hart. Uh, <laughs> to me, yes, they're going to be competitor, c- competitive, but what star do they end up going to get? Uh, you know, A-list star. Is it going to be in the offseason? Who is it going to be? That's all, There's always going to be this quest for that A-list star in New York City, but right now I think they've clearly got a very, very competitive group. Did I see Iggy Azalea down there with, like, Jalen Brunson at one point? Was that a, was that a spotting that I saw? Random. Uh, 